I am upgrading my Ethernet cable and port from CAT6 to CAT8. This is 23 gauge AWG and this is 22. And I'm using the Keystone port. Um, this is a five pack. They come in one or five packs keystone jack shielded metal and for cable 8 and it contains this this is the guide where you insert the wire and the copper And the cable tie now this copper is is a little bit short I bought I already have this copper tape and it's I need that length so I just need to cut one centimeter here of course you can use this that's fine I've used it in the other installation I'm just showing you this one how to install it and I already cut this one so let's replace this now you need some some um, cutter for this I cut about three to four centimeters Bring down the shield here. And there is a copper wire in the middle. So this is the copper wire in the middle. I'm not gonna use it this is probably for a newer port but I'm using RJ45 port to be compatible with my um, existing network existing ports and then just apply the tape See, this length has good coverage. The other one is too short. Now you need a, some type of scissors. I have a wire scissors. Definitely, you have to already insert it in the, the housing because once you install this one, it's too big for the hole there. So I have two of this, one up and down. 
Moving on. Oh, let me just clean this a little bit. Let's remove the shield. These are aluminum shielding, I guess. Okay. Now we need this. It says here B. And the difference between the B and the A, the orange and the green are reversed. My existing network is of type B wiring. Um, we have to be consistent, so I'm following type B. This is the square slot. Okay? This is the wedge slot. To show you, when we insert this back, very important. This is the um, wedge. And this is the square. See that? Of course, the square goes to square. There, like that. You will push it. Last time I did it like this and I force it. You can force it, but you will have an incorrect connection. I'll have this stopping board. Let's insert this now. Push it. Just to show you if when I push it is just right. It's gonna be this. Sorry. So it's perfect. It's gonna should be this copper should end up here. So it's, that's a good one. So this is the orange white pair. We're following the B. So the solid orange goes in here. And the white orange goes in here. And the white green. And the green. Okay, let me push this a little bit. Okay, 
just try to push it there okay you can use this push the wire there now the other side they're the same for whether it's type B or type type A solid blue and solid white it's just you need to arrange it there it says white blue white Insert the blue first. Hmm. Maybe we will reverse it. It's a yeah, there you go. Yes. blue and the white solid blue white blue blue is followed by brown white brown and then solid brown okay there you go let's push it can push with your fingernail I just don't wanna this is better for me there push push all push well and good Solid brown, white brown, solid blue, white blue. White orange, solid orange, white green, solid green. I can use this to cut this, but I have a better tool for that, which is this, because it's flushed. Just cut it um, there cleanly and now again square goes to square, wedge goes to wedge. Square. Now, this one will need some pushing. See what I'm gonna do? I have some wood here. I'm gonna put it here like this. And this my. Have this. Do you see it? Yes. Just to add, just to push it because it has. I I'm using 22 wire gauge. It's a little bit tight. That's why I need some help. Some help with the pushing.
to sh some more because you cannot close it until you have a good okay let's see that's a thing with a 22 gauge this is a little bit big I'm gonna hold this because there's something here that might break so I'm using some pliers I can protect that if I want to look this is from my previous until it clicks to the slot there it clicks and um, now the tie if you keep on you know fixing it and everything you can buy tie here uh, for this one I actually bought one here but this one is thicker, so I'm gonna use this. This is just to further secure um, the connection. No, the port. Because the slot here is too thin. It will easily give up with uh, some movement so that's why they design it to have this tie okay and let's see now it's tight cut there there you go